Hello, in this problem we are going to do a proof. A subset O of a metric space X is open if and only if O is a union of open balls in X. Let's jump into the proof right away. So we'll start by proving this direction here. We'll assume that O is an open subset of a metric space X. So suppose that O is an open subset of a metric space X. And basically now we have to show that O is a union of open balls in X. So to do that, we'll do the following. So let X and O be arbitrary. Now, since O is open, well, it means X is an interior point. That means that there is some open ball centered at X of radius R that's contained entirely in O. So there exists some positive radius R sub X. It depends on X. So I'm including a subscript here such that the open ball centered at X of radius R sub X is contained entirely in O. And X was arbitrary, so since X and O was arbitrary, this holds for all X and O. For all X and O. Thus, and here's the key, O is a union of open balls where X here runs through O. So why, right? Why is it, does this follow? Well, it follows, and here's why. So first of all, uh, for every X and O, right, we said it was arbitrary, so for every X and O, we have X in one of these balls which means that basically for every X in here, you're gonna have X in one of these balls. Therefore, O is contained in the union of these balls. Conversely, each of these balls is contained in O. Therefore, the union of the balls is contained in O. So we have double inclusion, so we have equality just from what's written here. Let's prove the other direction, which is much easier. We're going to invoke something that we've done before. So in this case, we're going to assume O is a union of open balls in X. So suppose O is a union of open balls in X. So we've already shown that the union of any family of open sets is open. So since O is a union of open sets. It is open. And that completes the proof. We're not going to reprove this because we've proved this before. And to prove this, if you're curious, like if you wanted to show the details and not invoke something, I should say open. My handwriting is terrible. Let me fix that. It is open. What you would do is you would basically, let me just give you a proof sketch here for this direction, just in case you want to see it. So the proof sketch for this direction is you would say something like, okay, um, you know, let O sub alpha as alpha run through some index that be uh, a collection of open sets. Okay, and then what you would do is, um, you know, O is a union of these balls. You know, so, so, so suppose O is a union, say it's a union of these. So O is a union of open balls. And um, now what you do is you show that every point in here is an interior point. So you take an X and O, and that means that um, there's an X in some O sub alpha for alpha and I, right? You don't know what it is, but there's just some, some of them. And then O, o sub alpha is open, so you can find some radius uh, so that the ball centered at X of radius R is contained entirely in O sub alpha, but that's contained in the union. 
which is basically O. So basically every X in this set is an interior point, uh, therefore it's open. Sorry, I had the camera down so you couldn't see it, but that's the main idea. So you would assume it's a, a union of open balls. They don't even have to be balls. I just used a sets here because it's true in general. And then you take an X in that set, therefore it's in one of these, at least one of these. So then since this is open, you can find some open ball, which is contained entirely in that set which is contained in the union, which is basically O. So every point in O is an interior point and it's open, but we're just pretty much invoking that we've already done that uh, with this part of the proof. I hope this has been helpful to someone. Good luck.